Today I'll be reviewing the new Smart CD Player. Uh, what this is is the ability to add a CD player back to uh, vehicles that no longer have it. Um, for those of us that don't know, uh, a lot of the manufacturers for cars started removing CD players around 2017, and now it's pretty much the dominant market in the new car vehicles where there are no longer CD players present. So this product adds a CD player back to the vehicle with a what they call an emulation module that makes the radio think you're plugging in a little thumbnail drive uh, into the USB port of the vehicle and listening to CDs through it. Now, <clears throat> what makes this module uh, and this package valuable is that this device actually allows the CD player to communicate through the CarPlay portion. And the reason why that's important is so you get reliability, uh, usability, and better controls too. So what I've already done, I'm gonna put these aside for a second, is I'm gonna to proceed to uh install the system and i just want to show you um i've already connected the usb cable to the usb auxiliary port in the vehicle i'm going to go ahead and put the camera back here and i am going to do the installation now the beauty part is the installation is this simple uh, this device or this smart device if you will has a usb input port for the cd player the smaller USB-C port for the connectivity to your vehicle. The cable is nicely labeled that says box, being that this is the box. We're going to go ahead and plug this piece in. We're also going to proceed to take the CD player's USB connection cable, plug it into the control box there. We're going to take the CD player, place it down here on the cup holder, and we're going to wait for the system to synchronize. Now, once the module is recognized by the vehicle and once the device is, you're going to see the module firing up, as you can see there. The CarPlay icon on the radio or on the control center um, will illuminate green, and this will symbolize that the system is communicating and has communicated. Once it's complete, you'll have an on-screen prompt that is a safety portion designed to say, do not operate the system while driving, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, it doesn't necessarily pertain to the CD player. I would imagine it pertains to some of the other features the module has, which I'll give you a brief description here. So let's go ahead and click sure. This is the user interface for the control module. Now, if you look at the module, um, there are a few options on here. You see YouTube, Netflix, uh, YouTube music, uh, phone casting, and that's what the safety parameters are for. It's basically saying that you have the option to play these apps if you connect Wi-Fi um, to uh, the module itself, which you can do via hotspot on your phone or hotspot in your vehicle, assuming your vehicle has a strong enough upload download bandwidth. Now that's obviously important to check. Um, you can always rely on your phone or a hotspot um, puck type uh, generator. But for this sake, we're going to show you the CD player. Now the CD player controller is right here. It's located on the user interface. Um, now we haven't uh, inserted a disc yet. Um, so there's nothing here basically displaying, but I'm going to go ahead and show you this now. We're going to go ahead and take the disc. Let's just put that in there. I'll put the unit back down. The unit should synchronize once the CD player is recognized. Now what it's doing is it's, it's called uh, building a table of contents. And the table of contents is telling the unit very quickly, I have this many songs, they are this long, um, and um, this is the total length of the CD. Without that table of contents, the unit won't know what to control. And once that's done, the unit's going to go ahead and proceed to uh, play the disc. So I'm going to go ahead and push that. It's going to say loading. Once it's complete, here you go. So let's go ahead and jump back. Let's go to song one. To go ahead and turn that down for a second and as you can see the user interface on here is very friendly uh easy to use we're going to go ahead and push this button here so you'll be able to see all the tracks from the cd are here they're all selectable there are 10 tracks now this is a boys to men cd um, the unit itself does not recognize the specific songs on the cd 
And when I asked the manufacturer why they had stated because the licensing in order to do so was incredibly expensive. So they chose not to do that to try and save the CD player at least a few hundred dollars per unit of being uh, overly priced. They wanted to make it more you know, price conscious and price competitive, of course. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and choose a different track. Let's go to track four. Track four pops up. And there we go. You have the options fast forward, rewind. You can, of course, jump the song ahead. The song will jump ahead itself. You can jump the song back. You can fast forward again, go to the next song, go back to your menu settings. As you can see here, it is uh, very, very versatile, super easy to perform. If at any time you want to go back to the main menu, you can, of course, push the home key. It will take you back to the main menu of the smart module. Um, and there you go. The device also has what you can see right here is the ability to convert your CarPlay controller from wired to wireless. And the reason why that's important is because as the CD player and the smart module are being added to the vehicle, some vehicles only have a single USB port. So obviously, and it's because it's delegated for your smartphone, you don't want to lose that port by plugging in the smart module. So the manufacturer put a wire to wireless converter in the module to convert your USB experience um, directly to uh, wireless. So you still have your complete CarPlay interface.